pretty, adore her hair. Today I'm going to do a combined Shop My Stash project pan. So this is a new project pan for me this year because I haven't started any yet this year. And what I'm going to do is I think I've decided I'm going to have a whole kind of face of stuff for panning, either pan to pan or have so many uses and then separately from that I'm going to do a shop my stash for things like blush and eyeshadow palettes and extra highlighter and lipsticks and just look at just using things and mixing it up. So I'm going to go to my drawers and we'll pick out what I'm going to use and then I'll show you and I'm going to do a look with it. Okay, in my second drawer I've got mascaras, primers, foundations, concealers, and powders. So I'll go through that. So I'm going to pull these ones in and use these for shop my stash for a while. I don't think I'll put them in a project pan, I'm just gonna pull them in for now. And see how I like them because I haven't used them for so long, I don't know if I still like them. And I'm going to pull this in. Oh, I'm pull this in for shop my stash, which is my Fit Me pressed powder, which is pretty um, well used. So this shouldn't be too hard to pan. Since so I've been panning it in previous projects anyway. And for concealer, I have used one of these, but I've still got a little bit left in this one. So I'm going to pull this one until it's all gone. Now this is the lighter one that I use on my eyes. So I also need another one. Maybe I'll try the stick one because I'm not sure if I like this. This might be one that's a candidate for being decluttered. So I'm going to pull this one out for my face for concealer. And I need a loose powder which I've actually got on my desk. I'm just going to carry on using the one that I've already got out, which is the, um, which is this one over here. Which is the Revlon, Revlon, no, the Revolution Lace Powder. And I've also got my Laura Mercier Eye Brightening Powder because it's the only under, actual under eye powder I have at the moment. And while we're over here, I'm also going to leave out the mascaras that I have currently got out. Because I don't want to open a new one until these ones are finished. In this drawer I've also popped my setting sprays. I have only two setting sprays at the moment. Thank you. Mm, wasn't going to focus. So I'm just going to get out the Colourpop Pretty Fresh one. And I'm going to use this one for now because I have been enjoying it. Okay, next drawer. Lipsticks. Now, because we're going to be doing bronzy looks, I think we'll go for toffee. Focus. Soft toffee, which is an Ulta 3 one. And Touch of Spice, which is a Maybelline one. and a nice dark brown maybe this one here cover girl celebrity 100 that's a melting pelt and now that's on the floor yeah <laughs> it might <laughs> and what else do i want in here i can pull out other things that i want i might just have um a gloss L'Oreal Paris Cream Gloss. It really doesn't want to focus today. And what is this in? This is in Proteus Queen. So that's all I'm going to get out for there at the moment. So in my blush drawer, I think I'm going to get this one out because I this is a newer one to me. I haven't hardly used it in. Um, I used that one the other day and it was so very bright so I'm going to have a play with these and to go with that I think I might pull out the Revolution blush palette in 
golden sugar because I think it's got some nice things, colours there that will go with an autumn look in with the other blush palette. So I'm going to pull those. And next one, highlighter. Now I think I'm going to pull this Ofra one that Kelly Weasley gifted me in Perfect. You can do it. There we go. Star Island. Oh, yeah, it's just a cream highlighter, and I've got three other. I've got two other cream highlighters, so I've got three, pretty much the same color. So for panning, I think I might go for actually hitting pan on this, not using it all up, but hitting pan. I'm going to try for that. And do I want any other highlighters? Why I am here. this one. I haven't used this one in a little bit. This was a free gift with purchase. It's a Chi Chi Warmer Wall of Shimmer. So I'm going to go with that. And of course a lot of these are going to end up as highlighters because they're all glowy. Well most of them are. Apart from that one I think. And I'm going to pull in the e.l.f. bronzer. This is a slightly glowy bronzer. And I want to finish this off and get it out of my collection because it's getting quite old. So um, I'm going to pan this completely as my plan. This one is not a bronzer, <laughs> as you can see. It's the Super Shock Shadows. And is there anything in here about this one? They're really hard to get out. Party plan. Can I open this with one hand? No, hang on. I think I might pull this one because it's it's a brown glittery thing. So I think that would go quite well. So I'm going to pull that. And last straw is my mini mini eye things. <laughs> And what do I want? Possibly that one? I'm going to pull these two. So I've got the Ogilvy one and... Peacock. I'm going to try that one. And I've got the... BH Cosmetics Highlights, and this is in Gel Pal. So I think those might go nicely. I don't think there's anything else I want to pull in at this stage. Unless it's one of these jellies. Yeah, I might pull this, this jelly in which is, if I can get it out of the box with one hand, this kind of orangey colour here, and it's called Strawberry Jam. So I'm going to pull this one in. It looks like this. So, uh, that might fit in as well. Let me just put my finger in it. Mm. It looks like. So I'm going to pull that one in too. So here is my shop my stash with my project pan stuff here. I've added one thing in and that is this palette here because I was playing with this palette already and I wanted to carry on playing with it so I've just kept that in. So now that I've picked them all out and you're probably thinking well what am I using for project pan and what am I using for shop my stash because it got a bit confusing here for a bit. So what I'm using for Project Pan is, first of all, I'm going to use these two items for primer. So um, this one is nearly finished. So 
there is very little left and I don't, I don't know whether you can see that it's down there. I'm going to mark it. And this has been in a project before because I started it off in a project when it was brand new. So we are way down here. So that's not going to take very long at all to use up. I don't know how much I've got in here. This was in a project before and I hadn't used it very much. So um, I'm going to put it in the project and finish this. I want to finish this as well. And then my foundation from Rimmel. Uh, I think I can see where it's up to. I uh, will mark that. So I'll be mixing these two together and I'll be using more of the light one than the dark one, but that's where we're up to. And I'm not going to finish this up, I don't think. I'm going to use it for a bit. So I want to do 10 uses of this before I decide whether I'm going to swap it out for something else or whether I'm going to actually try and use them up because these are getting quite old and they probably need using up. But we'll see how we go. And for concealer, this one here I'm going to use up and I'm going to finish and I can't mark it because I don't know where it's up to. There's not very much left. I'm really struggling to squeeze it out now. This was in the project all last year and it's still going. So I'm determined to get this done and out. And the Revlon stick one that I use for my face, I'm going to use 10 times and then decide whether I still want to keep it in rotation or whether I want to declutter it because last time I used it, I remember it getting a bit cakey and not liking it. But since then I've changed up the way I prep my face because I use this and this really helps. So I'm going to use it 10 times and see how I feel about it. The powder, face powder, the Fit Me Classic Ivory Set and Smooth. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to finish this off. This was in my project last year. So I'm going to get that done and finished. The Revolution Lace Baking Powder. I will mark if I can... Well, I don't really need to mark it because the last mark is still pretty relevant. <laughs> so I'm going to use this 10 times and then swap it out for something else. I forgot to pull the contour out, but I'm going to use my contour. This was in the project last year as well, so this is showing a good bit of pan. I'm going to finish this one up and I'm going to finish this cream powder up. That is my goal. And for bronzer, I'm going to finish this e.l.f. bronzer. It's a bit just fell out of it. <laughs> so, so there's one bit I'm not using. So I'm going to finish this completely up as well. And for blush, I'm just going to use this palette. I want to use every colour because this is quite new and I haven't hardly used it. So I want to use every colour in this palette as a blush and see how I like it. So far I can tell you it's extremely pigmented and you have to be really careful how much you use. <laughs> because one, one day I used this colour here and I didn't realise just how pigmented it was and I was very orange. <laughs> I like orange but I was a bit too orange. I had to really buff it out. And for highlighter, the Ofra highlighter here. I want to hit pan on this. This is so I don't want to use it all up. I just I just want to hit some pan on it. It's my goal for this. This could take a while though. And I've got my mascaras. This one's nearly finished. This one's not. And I'm just gonna put them in the project because then it keeps me it means I'm, I'm, I keep track of how long I've actually had them open and using them because otherwise I tend to forget. And then we're down to lipsticks and eye stuff. So the eye stuff, the various toppers that we have. I'm going to say I want to use each one of these five times. I'm going to write that down before I forget. Because to me, that's that'll be quite a few times for this color scheme. 
since there were four different ones. And I ended up adding a lipstick in, which you will see later. And I'm going to use, this is a gloss and a stay matte liquid lip. Two bullet lipsticks and I'm not quite sure what to call this. <laughs> it's a liquid glossy lip. <laughs> it doesn't dry down though. So I just want to use all of these. I don't know how many times. I'm just going to use them. So at least once anyway. <laughs> See how I'm liking them all and making sure the formula is still good and things. Now I've shot my stash for this wall of shimmer. So it's a highlighter. Um, how many times do I want to use it? I'm looking at my list. <laughs> I'm say I want to use this one five times. And the reason why I only want to use it five times is because I've got this one in as well. And I think sometimes some of these would be blush, but sometimes they're going to end up as um, highlighters because it's a highlighter. <laughs> it's not a blush. And so I want to make sure I've used every colour in here. At least once. And then we get on to eyeshadow palettes. So for eyeshadow palettes... I want to... For the Ring, Me, Ring the Alarm one the Jaclyn Hill Morphe one. I want to use every colour in here. And I've used two, three. I've used three so far, which was these three. So I want to make sure I use every colour. Same with this one here, the Milani metallic one. I want to make sure I use every colour. I'm not worried about the black. But I want to make sure I use every other colour. And to make sure I use every colour in the Sassy Sienna's. And I've already used three of them. I've used those three there <laughs> on my look today. And for the spice one. And the Bold Obsessions. I want to do a little bit of comparing of colours here. I know there are definitely some differences, because obviously this one's got a grey and a black, which the other one doesn't. But there are some that are very similar looking as well, so I want to compare these. And so that, uh, those are my goals for my panning and my shop my stash for however long it takes me to do those 10. When I get tired of this colour scheme, <laughs> I will change, up, change it up and see how many times I've used everything and if I'm realistic in how many times I can use it, except for the project pan stuff, which will just carry on through and be a rollover project pan. So I'm going to do a look and try out the stuff or some of the stuff that I've got out. Okay, I'm going to try out my Shop My Stash stuff. So I'm going to start off with my primer. I've just realised that um, I haven't done my eyes yet and I usually do that before I do my foundation so I'm obviously going to do things in a different order today. So I'm going to do my eyes now and I've just left a little bit of powder under my eyes to hopefully pick up anything that falls off. So I'll do my eyebrows first. Okay, so I have prepped my eyes. I've used my Milani eyeshadow primer. And now I'm ready to start my eye makeup. And 
going to use today, I'm going to use the Jack Hull Hill one and the Sassy Sienna. So to start off with, I'm going to go in with this colour here. I want to do something that'll go with my jersey today. And then I'm going to get a fluffier brush and I'm going to go in with. Which one? I think I'm going to go in with this one here in the middle, foxy. And that one I think is brassy or it could be bossy, depending on which way. If, it, if the name matches up with the colour on the back, then that's brassy. This is Foxy. They're very pigmented, these ones. Um, don't need a lot of shadow. A um, little bit goes a long way. But I'm going for quite a bold look, so that works for me today. Now to blend out the top, neither of those palettes have got a colour light enough that I want. So to have a look at the other ones. So it's just looking in the Milani one, but I think I'm going to go into the Spice Edition one and I'm going to go with this colour here. Then I'm going to deepen up the outer corner. Now I'm just having a look at Stay sassy and secret Morphe Jack on Hill one. So that one's from the Jack on Hill and that one is from the Sassy Sienna's. They're very similar. But this first one is from Sassy Sienna. This one is a little bit darker than this one. So I'm going to stay with the Sassy Sienna one. We're deepening up the outer corner in the crease. So that's all I've got so far. I was going to do something else this morning, but um, I was going to do some work in my shop I still, but for some reason the site's not working and I can't get into it, so the blog will have to wait another day. <laughs> shimmer do I want to use? I'm going to start off with Boom here. That's a great colour to go with my jersey. And I'm actually going to go into the Spice palette and I'm going to get this colour here because it's a little bit darker than the Boom one. And I'm going to put that in between that dark brown. I said I was going to use those other two palettes, but that's why I got them all out because I thought they'd all work together well. And then on the inner corner, I think I'm going to go, I'm just going to wipe off my brush, I'm going to go into Lolly, which is this pinky one. Got a little bit of fallout. But not too much. It's gone away, so that's good. Now I don't think I have got a pencil colour. I'm gonna this might be close. So I'm gonna use the Master Drama one from Maybelline, which I don't think I can tell you the name anymore because oh, it might be on here. Hang on. It's brownie glitz. Right. And uh, I think this might be the right colour for what I want. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to use a gold on the inner part. So 
Sky Smoke Wonder Beauty to this day glitter liner. And I'm just going to go over that with some powder colour that kind of matches up with that. I seem to be missing my favourite liner. I may have to ask Elise if she's more attention. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use my not so favourite liner because this is a felt tip. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner and I prefer brush tip and my next one is the brush tip one. Okay, that's not here. Or maybe I'll just go ask her because I think it'll work better. Yes, Elise had borrowed it, so I can use my favourite one now. Okay, I'm going to finish powdering my face, which I started and didn't finish, and I'm going to use my the Fit Me press powder. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the Evolution Lace Wand in there. Swirl it around with my powder brush and put it on my face. Going to use my OXX Studio Contour Powder, which I forgot to get out before, but I have now. I'm planning on completely painting that colour and that colour, but I'm not going to do those two. I don't know how, but for some reason I'm completely covered in black stuff. <laughs> I'm going to spray my face with my Pretty Fresh Team Mist. And then I want a highlighter for the inner corner. And... anything so there's nothing in the morphe Jacqueline Hill one that I want for that in the corner highlight I'm gonna try the Milani one this one here I'm not sure if it's quite what I'm looking for but I couldn't find anything else that I was looking for either I get my little brush for that no that'll do But I ended up using all four palettes because I ended up using the Bold Obsessions in my eyebrows because <laughs> it was the only brown that I had that was dark and cool enough for my eyebrows. I'm going to, as a blush topper, I'm going to use this colour here because that fits in really well with what I'm doing. So that was the Golden Sugar Revolution Blush. Really fluffy when you use this little wet and wild one. It's quite opaque this colour, so I don't want too much. It's a nice little glow to the cheeks, and I think I might. extra pop of highlight. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to mix it a little bit with that one. I don't know whether that makes any difference whatsoever. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to go into this white. Hopefully it's not too stark white. Just for underbrow highlight. And I'm since I added a whole lot of stuff to my text, I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray again. Put on my mascara. 
And now I just need to choose my lipstick. So what do I want to go for? I'm going to try the Touch of Spice one. Let me see if it's or maybe a bit pink, actually. Take the gloss off my lips. Oh, that's too pink. It's not working. Let me try the soft toffee, which may be too orange. I think it's okay, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. I want something kind of in between this and this, because this one is really dark brown. Have a look. What this one looks like. It's a sort of a, got a slight pink brown to it too, and that's not what I'm looking for either. I have to go in my stash and see if I've got anything. I don't know if I have. So I ended up going with a very brown nude, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte colour in Mocha. Or Mocha. So that's what I decided on. So I'm going to add that to my stash. So if you enjoyed this video, you might want to have a look at what I did last year for project panning and I will put that up in the cards so you can have a look and see what I was doing for project panning and how far I got and my thoughts on it and what I learned. So I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did I hope you'll subscribe down below and give me a like and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.